to Hartford now where police are investigating a deadly shooting at this hour and three other victims are fighting for their lives. The shootings happened this afternoon inside of an apartment on Maple Avenue in the capital city. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Cerullo is live in Hartford to walk us through exactly what we know so far. Mike. Brian, police say it was a chaotic afternoon. Four gunshot victims found at three different locations. It all started here on Maple Avenue. Police expect to be out here well into the morning hours, processing evidence and trying to figure out exactly what happened. This is horrible. Guillermo Class watched as officers blocked off Maple Avenue, trying to piece together what led up to a deadly shooting just around the corner from his home. I got five granddaughters in. I, I, I... I get scared when they sometimes want to go get an ice cream or something because that area is very bad. Police say it all started at this apartment. Officers rushed there Saturday after learning a 17-year-old girl had been shot. On their way, they came across a car crash at the intersection of Maple Avenue and Benton Street. A man inside had also been shot. A second car made it a little further, dropping off two more gunshot victims on Weathersfield Avenue. One died. Police say the other is still fighting for his life. A very chaotic scene. Uh, it, it took most of our resources to, 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 to staff these, these three scenes. Police say this is all related, confirming the three men and the teenage girl were shot inside of the Maple Avenue apartment. I don't know if they knew each other, but I can tell you this was a, 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 a targeted incident. A targeted incident involving multiple shooters. Police believe they're among the injured. Some of the shooters were shot as well. We believe we have most of the people accounted for. Um, most of the people that, have, that were involved in the incident are, are at a hospital. As the investigation moves forward, Class says he wants his neighbors to look out for each other in hopes of preventing something like this from happening again. Don't be scared to dial 911. Don't worry about if you're a snitch or whatever. You know, you got to worry about that. If a bullet comes in through your window, it doesn't hit one of your kids. Police are looking for one more car they do believe is involved in this incident. They did not release a description of that car tonight. As soon as we learn more information about this, we're going to let you know both on air and online at WFSB.com. Live in Hartford, Mike Cerullo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you.